Today on the spot, we get the latest update coming to Xbox Live. Aram Jabari stops in for a demo of Naruto Shippuden Shinobi Rumble on the DS, and we play the new demo for Bulletstorm. Finally, we reveal two more characters coming to the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 universe. Today on the spot. Hello everybody, the world don't move to the beat of just one drum, it moves to the beat of today on the spot. It's Thursday, January 27th, I'm your host Kevin Van Ord, and seated next to me is the very fine Carolyn Pettit. Hi Kevin, how you doing? I am good. You know, we've got something very exciting happening in the building right now. <laughs> you don't need to tell me, I am, yes, it's a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament, it's going on in this very building, even as we speak, and I want to get down there because I am terrible at the game. I love it, but I'm terrible at it. You know what? I've had a chance to play, and I just want to bask in the glory of other people who may have some skills I might be able to pick up on. And it, just all the excitement of it, it's, yeah. Well, you're not the only fan of Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, there's lots of you out there, and as a matter of fact, we've got two surprises for you. We've got two character reveals and the trailers to go along with them today. I'm gonna be uh, playing some Bullet Storm a little bit later as well. Got a demo of that coming up. And we've got one more thing. We've got a thing you don't see here. I don't see anything but, there. Uh, but it should be here. We've got an Xbox 360 to give away. Nice. That's uh, part of the ongoing trivia um, going with the uh, the upcoming film, The Mechanic, featuring Jason, Jason Statham, Statham. as an assassin. Assassins are good. We know I'm a fan of assassins. Yes. But before we get to all that good stuff, what we really need to do is check in and see what's happening in news this week. Hey everyone, it's your GameSpot news update for Thursday, January 27th. I'm Tor Thorson. Well, it's been a wild 24 hours in the game industry thanks to a little thing called the NGP, or Next Generation Portable. If that doesn't sound familiar, that's because it's a new acronym for the device formerly known as the PSP2, Sony's next big thing in the portable space. Unveiled last night at an event in Tokyo, the NGP will have a 5-inch OLED touchscreen with a rear touchpad of the same size. It will be powered by an ARM 4-core processor and have an advanced graphics chip. It will also support Wi-Fi and 3G connectivity, as well as a feature long demanded by PSP1 owners, a second thumbstick. It will also boast a new flash-based media format instead of the old UMDs, so no more epic load times. Another concern about the original PSP was its lack of games. Sony wanted to head off any doubts about that, so it announced several top-tier first-party games are in the works, including portable spin-offs of the hit PS3 series Uncharted, Killzone, and Resistance. Also on hand were a variety of third-party developers to show off their wares. They included Konami's Hideo Kojima, who displayed a Metal Gear Solid tech demo, and Tecmo Koei, who showed off some Dynasty Warriors action on the NGP. Last, but definitely not least, Activision was on hand to promise that the Call of Duty franchise will be coming to the NGP. Other publishers who pledged their support included Capcom, Square Enix, Sega, Ubisoft, 2K Games, and Rockstar Games. Well, that's it, your GameSpot news update for Thursday, January 27th. For more headlines, head on over to news.gamespot.com. Thanks for that news team. Now, a little bit later on today's show, we'll actually be having a, a demo of Bulletstorm, which is uh, available now on Xbox Live, but that's not the only thing that's new on Xbox Live this week, obviously. No, there's a whole plethora of stuff coming. I love saying that word plethora out loud, so I thought I'd say it again. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what exactly that plethora is this week on Xbox Live. This week on Xbox Live, in Arcade, the budget shooter of the week is Breach. Capture bioweapons, escort convoys, and take and hold territory, all while destroying walls, floors, and barriers. Use a variety of high-tech gadgets, including sniper detectors, motion sensors, and sonic imagers to dominate the opposing force. In Games on Demand, become the King of Apes and King Kong. Relive the movie one horrifying moment at a time as you play both as Jack and Kong fighting creatures and prehistoric monsters on Skull Island. When you're done with massive simians, manage a baseball team and MLB front office manager. Take the reins of your favorite major league team and build a championship roster. Make trades, sign free agents, draft prospects, and manage games all the way from spring training through the playoffs. Afterwards, shank some fools and assault on Dark Athena. Play as Riddick, the most ruthless criminal in the universe who's been captured by the Dark Athena mercenary ship. Using stealth firepower and hand-to-hand -hand combat, Riddick must once again battle his way out of incarceration. In game demos, we have two heavy hitters this week, starting with the Crisis 2 multiplayer demo. Aliens are decimating New York City with a full invasion force bent on the annihilation of mankind, but that's not what you came to this demo for. Grab your Nano Suit 2 and unleash your stealth armor and power skills on fellow players. Then kill with Crass in the Bulletstorm demo. 
play through the collapsed building level in Bulletstorm's High Scores Echoes mode. Arm yourself with a PMC flail gun and screamer pistol and unleash the skill shot system to annihilate your foes all the way to the top of the leaderboards. In downloadable content, Notable is a host of Dead Space 2 packs, including the Hazard Pack, Supernova Pack, and Martial Law Pack, as well as new David Bowie songs for Rock Band 3. In Video Marketplace, new content includes the First Strike trailer and multiplayer preview for Call of Duty Black Ops, the Dead Space 2 launch trailer, the Final Fantasy 13 2 teaser trailer, and the trailer for stacking. That's all the time we have, folks. Join us next week for more This Week on Xbox Live. Hey everyone, and welcome to our daily demo. I'm joined by Aram from Atlas, who's here to show us another Naruto game. You've been right. here a few times showing Naruto. But uh, we, ha we, we, I think we actually had an action figure, we had a toy fight. Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay, I remember that now. So, um, which one do you have this time? Well, we have Naruto Shippuden Shinobi Rumble for Nintendo DS. Okay, so what? What's new about this? And well, uh, Shinobi Rumble is your um, hardcore, straight up Naruto fighting game. You've got up to four people who can fight at a time. Mm -hmm. 21 chapter story mode that takes you across uh, a lot of characters that Naruto fans will love. Yeah. Uh, you, I got, you know, we just saw here uh, Orochimaru is involved in this cutscene here. Um, so straight up fighting game. Straight up fighting game. And, and we'll skip the cutscene. So I, I kind of wanted to give you a feel for uh, the presentation of the story. You've got obviously the great Naruto artwork. Mm -hmm. And then here we go into the battle. So um, this will be a one-on-one -on -one fight. We're going to play as Sasuke against Orochimaru here in, in this particular scenario. Um, and each of the characters have their own unique uh, special abilities that you activate by either doing button combinations or by pressing on the touch screen. Um, and let's see if I can actually coordinate myself here. So Orochimaru initiated his own ability there. I get blown against to the back. So you actually can unlock new abilities and as you do so, um, you can you can actually customize what abilities you go into a fight with. So here I've actually, um, he, he's, he's confused me but with an item and there are items that you can collect throughout the course of a fight. Mm -hmm. um, things that'll also come in and be, you know, th those orbs that, that fell down and stunned him were the same thing that stunned me. Let's see if we can't use another another ability here. Um, so uh, one of the things obviously you want to keep track of is, is your energy and I, I actually used something that's just for uh, for uh, upward diagonal attacks. Um, <laughs> the chalk rush however is something yeah. you can initiate that uh, makes it so that special abilities do not deplete your energy. Okay, um, interesting. Let's see if we can't use one more So you said there's here. a straight up, um, he used buttons but an easier way you can just use the touch screen as well? Yeah, you can initiate by holding down on the touch screen uh, okay. next to each of those abilities. Um, so I set this to easy mode just so I wouldn't embarrass myself and lose. <laughs> um, but you know, now we can go ahead and uh, we can j actually jump into a... Um, let's see if we can quickly do this. So in addition to just the, mm -hmm. the traditional story mode, there's also uh, the versus mode. Okay. You can get up to three other friends, four people total. Uh, local. You know, local, you can do it. Um, it, it it's it's multi-card, mm -hmm. but it's local. And um, one of the other things that you can do in that mode is you can do team battles, so two people can be on team green, two people yeah. can be on team blue. And there's also special missions, so we'll go ahead and initiate these. And each of the characters has a little bingo card, and you can see there's um, 16 characters total, and we haven't unlocked all of them here in this save, so there's some to find as you play. Uh, and here I've done a few with Naruto already. As you complete these special scenarios, and here we can customize what abilities we want to go into. Okay. So uh, we'll go with the traditional Rasengan and Rising Rasengan. These are kind of shadow clone jutsu, Naruto's core moves. Mm -hmm. And um, so we'll start missions here. And now we actually have a choice. So this will give us three little markers on our on our bingo sheet. And eventually when we complete that, obviously, is when we can unlock new things. However, survive the battle on a pitch black stage. Oh. And this is re considered a, a B rank difficulty. So I think S is the hardest, uh, A beneath that. So this, just, this should be pretty hard. We're going up against three other AI characters. In a pitch black stage. In a pitch black stage, and uh, you know the game does have a limited number of arenas, so um, I, I don't know exactly. I, I guess giving us the preview here, uh, but um, I don't really have any of these memorized. So let's see what happens when we get started. This could be the most embarrassing demo I have here. And uh, oh, oh well, if you can see something. So I think we got a little bit of a. Uh, there you go. You have a head start. Looks like I'm beating up Sasuke there. So how? Where does the storyline? take place or fit uh, the, into the whole... Well, the, the storyline kind of goes across um, a, a, a lot of the Naruto canon. There, you kind of saw earlier when I was mm -hmm. in the story mode, um, we, we had um, Sasuke facing off against Orochimaru, which is one of those classic conflicts in the canon. And yeah. um, it, it, it's not necessarily um, 
it's not original or, or it's, 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 it's part of the story, but it does span a, a, a number of the Naruto storylines. Um, and across 21 chapters, you can expect to run across just about every one of the major characters that, that fans love from the, from the manga and the anime. And let's see, I've initiated Chalk Rush here, which means, oh, I, let me initiate it here, which means there I won't go. be taking, uh, depleting any of my energy by using these abilities. So we've got our, nice. oh, and I got hit right as I did the. Are you winning? No, he jumped over it. He jumped over it. I'm, I'm making a, a bit of a buffoon of myself. I also saw on the menu the personal battles. Like, what is that? So personal battles are um, basically you have each of the characters at each of the 16, you can actually kind of have a, um, a, a tournament style or a tree style where you're going one after the other. You'll complete um, nine or 10 different opponents and ultimately you'll, you'll complete their personal battle. But basically it's, it's uh, one more mode to give you more content you can take each of your characters, whoever your favorites are, mm -hmm. and take them through that their personal, right, their personal change. And, and there's not so much story associated with it as there is just the particular um, order of levels and, and enemies that you'll go up against and um, the difficulty obviously will, um, it's something that you said at the beginning, easy, normal, hard, but it also it'll increase as you progress. Cool. Okay, so when is the game coming out and what platform? Well, uh, Shinobi Rumble comes out on February 8th for a Nintendo DS. All right, well, thanks for coming by and showing us the game. I was happy to be here. <laughs> and now on with the rest of the show. Carol, I'm very upset right now, and you know why this is. Why, Kevin? Because right now in this building is something awesome going on that is not taking place in this studio. Oh, remind me. Well, we've got this great tournament going on for Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That's right, we do. It's uh, This game is just packed with video game characters fighting superhero characters. And, uh, you know, as much as I would love to be there, you know, right now myself, I'm going to take a little comfort in watching this uh, character reveal. This is a Marvel character reveal, and we're actually going to have a Capcom character reveal a bit later on in the show. But let's find out who else is coming to Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So that was a look at our first reveal for Marvel vs. Capcom 3 today. Never fear, there's another one coming, but think of them as, as bookends to the next segment, today's daily demo. Today's demo, you are bringing us, Carolyn. Yeah, it's Bulletstorm. Uh, it's a, uh, obviously it's a new shooter from People Can Fly. And uh, it's, it's uh, I've, you know, played through the demo a few times. And what seems to be really interesting about this game is, is that they're going for, uh, you know, the point of the game is not just to shoot your way through the levels and survive. It's got this, the, the slogan or the big thing they're pushing is kill with skill. And it's all about finding creative and interesting ways to kill your enemies and to rack up like bigger and bigger points. Um, as you as you do that, so uh, yeah, the demo is just like a single player, you know, one one section demo, and uh, I'll you know take you through it. Yeah, sounds like the kind of thing we need to see. Yes, uh, yeah, you, you definitely need to see it. Now, having said that, I, I am not as of yet the most uh, skillful uh, you know killer, uh, so I'm still I'm still learning here, but I will I will do my best to show off uh, some things. So, uh, like for instance, well, I'll take care of this guy, but then you see that's just just to show you that you can just like shoot people to death if you want to. But you've also, you see up there it says L2 leash. So there's an enemy up there. You have this, this cool leash that you can use for all kinds of things. Like I just opened this and brought all kinds of debris uh, down on, on these dudes and got, you know, got a you know, point bonus for doing that. 
Um, but that that leash, I guess I should reload. Um, that leash is comes in handy in all kinds of ways. You can basically, well, I was a little too close to that guy, but okay. So I kicked this guy. He goes into a kind of stasis. I kicked him into spikes there, which got me the voodoo doll uh, kill, um, you know, kill bonus. And there's there's like environmental stuff like spikes all over the place. Um, so that's that's definitely one fun way to to kill people. You can leash people to you, kick them away. And shoot them, um, and uh, which I, I like to do. Uh, so we see the leash here, and uh, obviously yeah. spikes are strewn around, so yeah, that yeah. you can uh, shove dudes onto them. Now, are there are there other interesting ways to kill people besides uh, just using these spikes? I, we saw you pull down the trap door. What else can we expect to see? Well, uh, you know, I mean, I, it, it's kind of the sort of things that you have to ex discover as you go. Okay, that what I just did is called the fly swatter, where you kind of hold the leash and then you bring it crashing down on on enemies. So that's that's definitely one thing you can do. And uh, there's some cool environmental stuff coming up in a bit here that I will. Surgeon is when you when you blast somebody's limbs off, I think. So this weapon, I, I blew at least one of that guy's arms clean off with that. Um, okay, uh, is this where? Yeah. So in, for instance, here there's a there's a nice big a mini gun, a mini gun that right. I can borrow and kill some of these guys. But rather than okay, I don't want to die here, but I do want to get over there if I can. Oh, oh, so much for that. Let's give it another try. Yeah, let's give it another try. All right, uh, let me give this another go here. Uh, but okay, so that's where I, c I could grab that minigun there and right. take out these guys. But what I find much more enjoyable, this is that elevator shaft in a, in a crumpled down building. Oh, somebody's, somebody's messing with me. But uh, headshot, okay. So now that he's dealt with, uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, and call the elevator here on these guys. Oh man! Yeah, Tenderizer, yeah. toxic love. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no better love than the toxic. No, kind. indeed not. Indeed not. Is this where we insert that Britney Spears song? Uh, it's, I'm not the person to ask maybe, about the Britney Spears. Maybe we can get Homer uh. to get on that and put a little toxic in that spot. See what you can do, Homer. So uh, let me. Let me show off um, uh, this other this weapon, which shoots. Uh, it's it's really cool. It shoots two grenades that are linked by a. I always keep using the leash when I because I play this on the 360 and on the PS3, and uh, I, I'm, I'm keep going back and going forth. Going back and forth between yeah, the yeah, controls, yeah. so it's yeah. uh, top <laughs> top shoulder buttons on the on the PS3, but uh, triggers on the 360. I don't, yeah, my yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. So this is a thing. This is a little thing where in the full game you'll be able to buy new weapons and stuff. All it does here in the demo is is give you a full. Uh, ammo stock again, but uh, definitely a useful thing to, to make use of. And uh, as soon as I got some bad guys here to deal with, I will use this weapon, which, yeah, as I was saying, it it it's, it fires two grenades that are linked uh, by a chain, so it, uh, it it can like like that one went right around the guy's the guy's uh, body, and then you you push the button again to detonate. Um, which which uh, can result in all kinds of crazy things. So you can put the the grenade on a guy, send him flying, and then or grenade him while he's flying, and uh, you know just just find all kinds of. And I'm sure that there's you know uh, lots of uh, okay <laughs> yeah grenade gag. You know get it around the throat is always fun. And. Uh, L3 to couch on this one. So what other weapons will we see in the demo? Yeah, one, there's uh, there's so there's a standard issue assault rifle thing that I was using before. There's this uh, grenade chain uh, thing. And then there is, you've got to always, you know, pick some furniture out of the way. That's always fun. And then there's this, uh, this like really high powered um, revolver, which uh, I used a little bit earlier, but this, um, like it's it's good for just bl blasting guys' limbs clean off. Um, so let's see if I can. Oh, well, <laughs> he flew right into my face a little. Got a little more personal than I was hoping. Boom headshot. Boom headshot on the on the guy helplessly flying through the air. So now I've I've noticed that there is a there is a timer coming down since you began the demo. Uh, it's counting actually up, counting I up. Say. Yeah, I think part of your, you know, part of the idea is to rack up as much, as many points and cool kill combos as possible in uh, as little time as possible. But uh, 
Yeah. And down you go. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that's pretty close to the end of the, this demo there. Well, the good news is the Bulletstorm demo is already out as we speak yeah. on uh, Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. Exactly, that's and right. And if you, if you like it, you can also get the full game soon. Do you know when the release date is? February, mm, I don't know offhand. What is it? I want, <laughs> I want to say the 23rd. I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, but some fierce competition because, of course, it comes out at the same time as Killzone 3. Yeah. So lots of shooters coming out together. Definitely. At least th they're going for very different things. Things, but they're, you know, I mean, Killzone is, uh, you know, more of a traditional first person shooter, and this is just ludicrous first person shooter. But uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what it's like when those when those games come out. Absolutely. Well, luckily, we're not always stuck with just shooters on today on the spot. <laughs> We've got one more character reveal for Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Mm -hmm. Rather than talk about it, let's take a look. And there you have it, the last of our two Marvel vs. Capcom 3 character reveals for today. But the show's not over just yet. Now you have a chance to win an Xbox 360 with a copy of James Bond 007 Bloodstone and some movie swag for The Mechanic, the new film starring Jason Statham and Ben Foster. Kevin, tell us all about this. Well, and we're not going to make it easy because right. you have to answer this trivia question first. And actually, it's not just a question, it's two questions. You ready? Here we go. Jason Statham plays an assassin in two other films. Name those films, the name of his character, and the names of the video games that were referenced in one of those films. That's part one. Part two of this two-part question. Jason Statham has also done video game voiceovers. Name those games and the characters he has voiced. If you think you know the answer, what you want to do is send us an email at onthespot at gamespot.com or click that little green button over to the right and send us the answer that way. Either way, we will enter you in for the chance to win that Xbox 360, that copy of James Bond 007 Bloodstone, as well as the Mechanic movie swag, which is of course brought to you by CBS Films and is opening on January 28th. Some more tough questions for people that want to win consoles, but you know what? It's worth it. Also worth it is to hang around the site because tomorrow we've got more stuff going up. What is that arrow? So much uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 goodness to bring you tomorrow as we bring you the first part of our coverage of the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament that's happening right here, right now. So we're excited. You should be excited. So it's definitely worth it to stick around, see what's going on tomorrow. In the meanwhile, that brings us to a close of today's episode. The good news is we'll be back soon. I am your host, Kevin Van Ord, and next to me, is Carol Pettit. And until next time, we'll see you on Today on the Spot. Hello, everybody. The world don't beat to just... Oh, can I do that again? No, we have to keep we have going. To, we have to do that? Yeah, we have keep... to go with that take? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>